Hello and welcome to the BBFS YouTube channel. My name is Suju. You must have seen me. Uh, that is, if you subscribe to the channel and follow, we had done a vlog uh, with uh, the person sitting on my right, and uh, here we are again, once again. I think Kishore, you can act as my co-host for today because I think the star cast is the three other gentlemen I have. Uh, we are in Bangalore, and I must say we are the BBFS Sports Arena. Uh, at HAL uh, ground and uh, what a view. I think I should stop talking now and I should get the star cast. Uh, I will start with uh, a rhyming, you know, a name that rhymes my name as well, Mr. Biju Nair. Uh, so if you can just tell me quickly uh, your role with BBFS and then we can take it ahead from there. Hi, uh, hi. Uh, thank you, Shiju. So basically I'm Biju. And so I am the technical operations manager. So when it comes to technical operation, we do what we do is that we start from hiring of coaches. So I take care of the hiring of all the coaches for South and then hiring, training and everything related to the coach. Okay, coach education. We send them for the coach education. We prepare them. We have workshops. So the coaching team, including Amrit, helps me also with the uh, the coach education program here. So we prepare them. And other than that, I take care of this uh, HL uh, ground as well, BBFS Arena. So we look into day-to-day -day operations of the, this ground so we have our tra our team's training here morning our dev squads are there then we have our football schools here also we give it to other other academies and clubs also who train here so this is what i do in bangalore daily so that's about me great i think i'll come to rakesh now um, he's also a person who handles a lot of things back end uh, so only the team if you if you get a chance to work with bbfs that's only when probably you will meet him uh, rakesh a bit of introduction about you so uh, before I you know uh, say what I do in BBFS currently, I, sh I think I should start uh, off with where I started off with BBFS. I started off my career with BBFS in Bangalore. Uh, you know, at that point of time, we were having only a couple of centers. First employee. Uh, first team member in BBFS. First team member in BBFS. Uh, we had Biju helping us out uh, at that point of time also. But yes, uh, first employee for BBFS in Bangalore. I uh, started off as, you know, uh, handling things that a center head would be handling so because I was the only team member uh, in the business side of things we had a couple of other coaches at that point of time but yes uh, from business side of things I was the only one and then from there we uh, slowly grew and then uh, you know uh, we have grown up to around 16 17 centers across Bangalore uh, that's when COVID hit and then you know right now we are uh, we have Going started uh, started from the scratch again, and then we are uh, you know in the moving in the direction of going back to pre-COVID times. Right now, I head the revenue for Bajimudia football schools across country uh, for football schools uh, operations. Yeah, that's what I do. Great. I think we'll come back to a lot of more conversations, but before that, we have one more person to introduce. So we have the fourth person. Uh, I'll come. I'll come to you. Uh, but Amrit, if you can tell us what, and I'm sure you must have, if you follow us on Instagram, you must have seen him on and off, uh, you know, with some footballing tips and also he's a national uh, new coaches workshop instructor. So you must have seen him on our page. But Amrit, if you can tell us a bit more. So my name is Amrit Kiranji. I am currently the technical lead for the Bangalore team. So I broadly work on two articles that is player development and coach development. So. Under player development, we take care of our foundation bats, players who join to learn football from the very base level. And the development squads are the squads where we put together the better playing players and, you know, give them exposure to national level tournaments like the I-League, also the state level tournaments like the KSFA Youth Leagues and so on. And under the coach development vertical, we introduce coaching, football coaching, the basics to anyone and everybody who wants to understand what coaching looks like, and also maybe start a career and that is where I also started my career with BBFS almost five years back right now. So I started as an assistant coach, got into a center head role, got into a head coach role and now thankfully I'm in a role where I can influence other coaches, take care of their mentorship programs as well and also looking after the player development pathways as well. So this is broadly what I do currently. Okay, so now let me just, I mean, it's unfair, right? Uh, I don't think it's uh, good manners if I don't introduce this person. So I'll actually formally do it. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, Kishore Tade is the CEO and co-founder of Njogo and BBFS. Kishore, you're in Bangalore uh, and you've, you know, entrusted this whole job to Kishu sir and the team here. I mean, I'm here seeing, meeting them for the first time and I been in touch with them it seems that they're the most active team and city among 
is it would it be right to say that yeah absolutely uh, i think the way i still remember you know uh, in 2013 when i had uh, visited bangalore uh, we were struggling to find uh, you know one good single ground uh, but uh, in the following like 6 7 years suddenly the whole grassroots football has gotten revolutionized in bangalore so that was something that has, that happened like right in front of our eyes and as far as our team here is concerned i think we have an excellent team here a uh, team uh, we started our operations in bangalore in 2014 and uh, rakesh has been there since the beginning as he mentioned uh, and since then the team we have seen lots of ups and downs uh, major uh, shifts tectonic shifts if i may call you know we had uh, we split with our partner we had covid but the team uh, is as strong as ever you know so the team has stuck together and uh, yeah i mean uh, i think a long term uh working with the long term in view is something that is uh, part of our dna because we are into development of coaches and players and development doesn't happen like overnight we have to be there for the players and for the coaches in the long run so having a team that has stuck together uh for the long run uh you know bodes very well for for us here and and for the ecosystem in bangalore so yeah very happy to be here as always i keep visiting bangalore uh time and time again uh, i have lots of friends here uh and yeah i mean uh, the i get totally energized by you know spending time with our team here now but just coming to you uh, i mean it's not often that we see academies uh, you know residential academies or non residential uh, non residential uh, they have a tie up or a set up with like a sports arena we are sitting here doing this video uh how does that go about because it's it's more of operational work right because you also have the football schools the centers you have the residential academy program and then you also have things which is open for everyone to come and play so how does what are the challenges to run that as pet as well and then how does it add to it to this entire program so again uh, going back if you see the early days we used to struggle to get a 11 aside field so bangalore was all about 5 and 7 aside small small turf Okay, so we never had a facility. I mean, we didn't have much facility. Only we had once one ground in the city. Okay, now if you say there are three or four eleven side courts in the city, so the entire Bangalore football has actually changed over the last six seven years thanks to the active work of the Karnataka State Football Association. There's a lot of youth tournaments. So because they are active and there's so many tournaments that happens here, it the operations become much easier. okay so we are tied up with couple of academy who run their regular program here we do have competition we had ksfa youth league happening here we had the amateur league happening here so there's a lot of activity it is a very buzzing city in names of football so with uh, with that all going ahead it been very easy for us to operate it the challenge was during the pandemic time we had a lot of challenges we had to run the run the show uh, we never had any booking but i think now we are in a very comfortable position so we have a very good relationship most of the academy is here they do come play at practice match so this is this is very 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 much integrated part of us now because without this i can't even imagine what is going so this is very much an important part of us and thankfully it is going good so far rakesh as someone who's been part of an organization and seen so much ups and downs and you are now heading revenue as you mentioned uh, what makes bangalore as a city you know and how important now that you look back that you seem that okay this it was a good step that we took to have a set up here and grow this team in this city so like uh, you know kishore and biju mentioned the footballing ecosystem in bangalore has evolved over time okay so uh, uh, not just in terms of scale but then you know uh, the way people look at football okay so 5 uh, 6 years down uh, earlier uh, it was all about five aside okay now we have seen over a period of 6 7 years we have seen that you know from five a side even for not just for professional uh, players like uh, you know people kids who are aspiring to become football footballers but for recreational players also from five a side it slowly evolved to seven a sides the demand for seven a side uh, you know uh, slowly grew we so uh, from five a side a lot of uh you know seven aside fields coming up facilities private facilities coming up and then it has slowly evolved to nine aside and 11 aside we have seen the same kind of uh, you know movement in mumbai also and that is something which is bound to happen you know people uh, are always uh, you know passionate about the game who are passionate about the game would want to play 11 aside on larger on larger fields okay 
and uh, uh, like biju also mentioned thanks to uh, you know the uh, football association here the state football association here who have uh, contributed a lot in terms of bringing up tournaments and then uh, you know bringing up more opportunities for the kids who are uh, practicing to play competitively so the, the entire thing has added to the ecosystem and uh, you know the kids who are playing in now get an opportunity and because of that the, uh, the 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 business side of things also has improved now uh, uh, you know the number of academies which are run professionally has also uh, i think that's that's by far uh, uh, you know uh, we will have the largest in the city if you compare to any other city across the country we'll, we have so many competitors i would say but competition is good when the academy is run in a very good way other academies also we get good players and that's that's what uh, brings more and more kids and players into the system so yes uh, you know it's it, it has been a good journey uh, for vbfs as well as the you know football ecosystem in bangalore amrit coming to you now you joined as a coach and as you mentioned here assistant coach you've had different roles here uh, but you know one other thing that i see with bbfs is that they also heavily look at the coach education side of things to develop their coaches not just players because when we even somebody else watches it's like okay you're sending your kid to develop uh, you know to become a good player but even a coach can walk in and then you know improve and learn and become a better coach uh, so for you as a coach how important is that aspect uh, in in bbfs so it all stems down or starts from the core values that we try to instill whether it's to a player or a employee in the operations team or a coach who comes in we want to make sure that sustainability and long term development is our key factors in their thought process and just to take an example during new coaches workshops we just don't have aspirants of coaching coming in but we also have some parents coming in because we want to try and help them understand that focus on individual development is key rather than you know getting 6 and 7 year olds to start passing the ball around and you know clear the ball long we want them to understand that let's raise their individual level up to a very good level so that by the time they are 17 18 they are ready to play senior football in any team or any system or under any coach and that is how we try to prepare our players it is not just that they should be able to play under a particular system only and that is where we need coaches also to come in with a very clear vision of i'm not doing this for today i'm doing this for multiple years down the line as well of course today and tomorrow is important but that is where fine balance also comes in with you know coaches at a certain experience so coach education for us has been a very constant and continuous source of committed coaches we have been able to get coaches into our system and to be honest we still have coaches who have joined the system you know over four years ago even though they have not gotten a lot of work during the pandemic years they've trusted the system they have no they know why and what is that bbfs does there is no doubt there so that only comes because we are practicing what we are preaching we might not be perfect at all levels but that is something with respect to our values that we have been sticking on to and long term development is one of the key things that we you know keep preaching and we keep trying to practice every day kishor uh we always when you look at a football team also when the man that plays on the pitch or any team for that matter we always say you know keep the core you know even if you do shuffles you keep the core uh, so how important for you it was like you mentioned you know from the start that we had bangalore you know partners uh, moved out and then covid coming in and a lot of things but it's still the strength right now i mean you only see some of us three of them actually from here but it's a team of eight people um so how important was to retain the core see it is always important right like i always keep saying without a team without the players you don't have i mean the coach has got nothing to do right uh, even in our on our business side also we don't have business managers but we have business coaches so for a coach you know the first the most important thing uh, you know are the players if you don't have a player you can't play any tournament right so the uh, so having the team together having a great team uh, with great players is very very critical and and especially from like uh, amrit has been saying about the long term development with a long term uh, if our perspective is long term if our view is long term then of course uh, you know continuity is very important consistency is very important and if we can be consistent over long periods of time when i say long periods of time say 15 years 20 years that's when actually the whole uh compounding effect kicks in where you know what you will gain in your 15th year 
will be exponentially higher than what you gain in your say fifth year or your seventh year or tenth year. So that's how compounding works. And every single thing that we do, if we, uh, I mean, that famous equation is there where, you know, if you improve one percent every day, you know, you become thirty-eight times of what uh, by the end of the year after the three sixty-fifth day, you become thirty-eight times of where you were at the beginning of the year. So that equation is very very powerful. Uh, but for that thing to happen, the continuity has to be there. So if the team breaks in the middle, then you know. uh then you don't get the benefit of the compounding effect so so yeah and that works with money that works with uh, everything that we do that works with building a company that works with building a team it uh, work that also works with building talent now as you know we are at the ground and what is supposed to be happening on the ground is a football match and not an interview so we are you know running out of time because the match going to be kicked off very soon so i'm going to end this interview right here but with of course some parting thoughts uh biju sir if i had to say probably you are the head coach here for the bangalore team and uh, what more can we expect from the bbfs bangalore team uh, i think we are still very young so there's a lot long way that we need to go so all our coaches are also actually uh, getting to that level where they can lead the team so basically bangalore team is still young okay so we have just started uh, i think for a five years only because we have a long way to go now Okay, so the technical growth, what we are, we want to have, we have not reached there. We train our own players. It's like uh, we, we, the the kids who are playing with us are staying with us. So there are many things that we need to add to their training. So we have a long way to go in the technical growth. Uh, we are still uh, very young and learning. And otherwise, uh, the business side is also growing. And the Bangalore, as I said, is a very market which will like um, grow very faster. So we will be starting more centers, and we will be having more kids in our development squads or the kids who will be taking part in them. So basically, our long term aim is to produce at least five to six players from Bangalore, from BBFS Bangalore, who plays for the country. country that is what we are looking at all the plans all our work are actually on that our scouting is on that uh, our training programs are planned like that so that is what we want we want to have a bbfs boy from bangalore or boy or a girl from bangalore to play for the country as early as possible so all our aims are towards that other than the the regular football school and the def scouts we have started the residential academy so that is going to even uh, accelerate our growth uh, in the in terms of technical growth we going to have we have made sure that within a, with this residential academy also here Yeah, we will be reaching our goals immediately and faster. So, some parting thoughts from um, Amrit uh, and Rakesh. The question is same. Um, if someone's looking at us, watching us, watching this episode, I'm assuming a lot of people are watching this. Uh, so, uh, what would you tell if whether it's a player, whether it's a coach, or someone who wants to work with BBFS, someone who wants to work in sports ecosystem, why BBFS? So, we want to be part of the football. Indian football ecosystem, not just for the next ten years. We want to be part of the football ecosystem for the next fifty, possibly hundred years, and we don't want to be just part of the equation. We want to be a standard setter as well. So anybody who's watching this video, whether it's a player who wants to join our club, we want to be known as somebody who has maximized your opportunity to give you opportunity at the highest level, to make you understand even after a playing career. there are options for you to take up whether it's in the coaching side whether it's in the operation side whether in the data analysis and furthermore and so i've also done my bit as an operations manager in my first year of coaching on the part time as a part timer and i've realized that has you know added multiple levels to my abilities as a coach on the pitch as well so whether it's doing your first job or whether it's you know coming into bbfs as a part timer there are multiple avenues that we can offer to anybody and like i said from the first statement we are going to be here in part of the football indian football ecosystem for the next 50 years and more there is nothing short term that we do there is a lot of individual focus not just on the players that we train but also on the staff that comes into our system and you will realize that there is a very close meaning of family that we you know preach and we you know do it on a daily basis in the way we go about our things same question to you rakesh you've been there since the start uh, why bbfs see uh, from a business side of things obviously uh, you know uh, me along with the regional team uh, here uh, we would uh, want to grow 10x and then uh, we would want to reach to a scale where uh, you know uh, uh, anybody uh, wanting to associate with bbfs any player wanting to associate with bbfs anywhere from bangalore 
should be able to uh, should have an access uh, close by as a center for us uh, for them to you know uh, come and train with us but other than that uh, you know for bbfs the primary goal always has been technical development you know we want to we always wanted to reach a stage where uh, you know or uh, you know we always wanted to uh, you know give the right platform and right kind of ex exposure for any, you know any player who has the potential to grow and who wants to learn uh, you know uh, the sport in general so uh, you know like uh, biju and uh, uh, amrit mentioned uh, we always look forward to that and that is the direction in which we are always trying to move and uh, uh, food, uh, apart from the football schools program, that's the non-residential program that we have. The residential academy is a big step for us uh, in this part of the country uh, uh, to in that direction, yes. Uh, we also want to be part of an education drive that helps parents and people associated with any sport understand that it's not just about performing at the highest level. We also want kids to get to a stage where they are athletic and involved with any sport so a lot of our foundation batch focus is a uh, is on you know making kids fall in love with the game and that is something that we are going to continue with regards to our philosophy and our curriculum we want the kids to pick up the sport and come to the ground and not just play here but also you know have a habit of going out and playing by themselves and we hope the ecosystem and the environment also gets to a stage where they are not considering sports a distraction we want to be part of that conversation where we are a leader where Parents understand that studies and football and any other activities can go hand in hand rather than, you know, considering sports as a distraction when they get to a certain age. So we want to be a you know leading force with that respect also. I like how this is going because at the start of the video, before we could start, we were like, what do we talk? And I'm, I'm, and I'm happy that I'm not the only one who can talk here. All of us can talk and I'm sure for the next one hour we can. But like I said, we have to cut a shot here. Uh, we'll do, we'll come up with more videos like this. Kishore, parting thoughts from you, the final one. Um, as someone running this entire organization, looking after things, how, one, how happy are you with this team here? And... Uh, What's like the message that you would say and if from your end we can hear why VBFS? Yeah, as far as the team is concerned, I think, um, you know, there's no doubt. Uh, we have uh, we have a great team uh, and our strength actually is our team and our culture. And that is what has helped us to survive all the uh, uncertainties and all the challenges that we have faced over the past uh, 12 years since inception. Okay, and we are very proud of that and that uh, our team is uh, the most special thing that we have in the company. Uh, now, as far as the organization is concerned, our uh, you know our vision uh, is uh, to build uh, you know fit, dynamic, and resilient generation. Okay, so that's our goal, and that cannot happen without uh, with incomplete education. A uh, lot of us feel, uh, and a lot of people feel that academics is equal to education, but actually it is not true. Academics is only part of education. Uh, so without sport, I think education is incomplete. Every kid should be playing sport, at not just one, maybe multiple sports if possible, but at least one sport every kid should be playing. That's what we believe. And uh, and yeah, I mean, we have, we will, uh, as long as we can, as long as we live, we will keep working towards that goal. So, yeah, that's it. Nothing too complex or complicated. Well, that's about it. And if you're looking for something for football in this country, you know what to do. Just go on to the website, Baichung Budaya Football Schools, and you'll get all the answers, uh, all the questions answered. If not, if that's too much to know, in the description below, we'll have all the links for you or a number. So just pick up your phone, call, and uh, whether you're a player, a coach, a parent who wants to know, or anyone who wants to work in the ecosystem, please do that. And if you're just someone who was watching this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out for more such videos uh, on YouTube. There are some more campus store videos coming up. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you so much. And thank you to the beloved team here. Uh, we're signing off from Bengaluru.